Pushing inside the house, going left. Contact left. I'm on left with you. Down. Clear right. Clear left. Alright. Front middle is clear. Pushing inside the house, going left. I'm on left with you. Down. Clear right. Clear left. In the hallway. Right. Front middle is clear. Six Days of Fallujah is a game that's based on the actual event of the Second Battle of Fallujah in Iraq in 2004. This war is considered to be one of the most bloodiest fights for both sides of the war, and this game aims to recreate this battle. On our left! Who's there? Step out! Salim Nefsik! This game wants you to feel what it was really like during this brutal war. And so, in order to make that happen, the developers got actual first-hand accounts from actual war veterans and Iraqi civilians so you'll really know what it was like to be there when playing this game. The developers have said that over 100 marine soldiers and Iraqi civilians who were present during the second battle of Fallujah have shared their personal stories, photographs, and video recordings with the development team. The game gives these stories voice through gameplay and first person accounts capture an original documentary interview footage. You'll get to play from the perspective of marines and soldiers, but you'll also get to witness what it was like for the Iraqi civilians during this war as well. So you'll see what it was like from almost all sides of the war through the eyes of people who were actually there. This game actually got cancelled all the way back in 2009 due to media backlash and reappeared out of nowhere with an announcement from last year that it is back in development and that it will be releasing this time, and the developers mentioned that they have no plans of cancelling the game like last time. In my honest opinion, I think this game should be given a chance. It tells the actual events from one of the most terrible wars in history, and more people will get to learn about it through this game, and it will also give these people who are affected by this war a voice in this game. I think the CEO of Victoria, aka the publishing company that is behind this game said it best about the controversy surrounding this game. It's hard to understand what combat is actually like through fake people doing fake things in fake places. This generation showed sacrifice and courage in Iraq as remarkable as any in history, and now they're offering the rest of us a new way to understand one of the most important events of our century. It's time to challenge outdated stereotypes about what video games can be. Alright guys, that'll be all for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this game, and I'll catch you on the next one.